Larry. I'm going to um, show you how to work out this uh, volume of a solid. So here we have the uh, region bounded by those three curves, y equals x cubed, y equals zero, which is the x-axis, and x equals two. So that region in ye yellow is um, the region bounded by that. And we're going to revolve it around the y-axis. I'm really not going to try to draw this whole three-dimensional figure, but it'll you know, be all around that way. So it sort of gives you a flavor of we're going to revolve it around. I really won't try to get it too much um, more definite than that. But there's a couple of ways that you can go about doing that. One is to imagine a series of washers That would be a grant at every position y, there will be a washer, and the thickness of that washer will be dy. And the, um, the other dimension of the washer would be the outer circle would be 2. The radius of the outer circle would be 2. And the radius of the inner circle would be x. And so you'd integrate that in y from y equals 0 to y equals x. And you can put that all together, and you'd have to um, make it all in the variable y since you're integrating in y. But we're not going to do it that way. Let me try to take away this. There. So we're going to integrate an x. I'm going to ima imagine a, um, oops, I'm going to imagine a series of rings. Let's see if I can draw one of them. Yeah, well, apparently I'm not going to do too well. All right, so for every value x between x equals 0 and x equals 2, we have, we're going to have a ring. Oops. We're going to have a ring. And the radius of that ring will be x, excuse me, x. And the height of that ring will be y. And the thickness of that ring will be dx. So let's work out what the volume of that ring will be. And, and y equals x cubed, so we're going to make the height x cubed because we're going to integrate in the variable x. So we need to do our all expressions in terms of x. But the volume of that, the height of that ring is x cubed. The thickness of that ring is dx. Now what's the, um, the whole distance around that ring is in fact the circumference of that circle with radius x. So that's 2 pi times x is the distance around that ring. And the height of the ring is x cubed. And the thickness of the ring is dx. So that makes the whole expression for the volume of that, of that ring is 2x, 2 pi x times x cubed times dx, which is 2 pi times x to the fourth dx. We're going to take the integral of all those rings from x equals 0 to x equals 2. That's a fairly simple integral to take. And um, if you're watching this and you see what, what's going on, then you can stop the video, try to work it out for yourself, and start the video back up to check yourself. So I'm going to work this almost all the way through. Um, but you don't watch the whole thing. Um, if you kind of know and you want to try the next part yourself, stop this and start it again. So this equals 2 pi. Now uh, the integral of x to the fourth dx is x to the 5 over 5. Put that over 5 here. The integral of x to the fifth, value from 0 to 2. And again, x to the x 
the fifth evaluated at two is two to the fifth, which is 32. So we have 64 pi over five. And then subtracting out the um, value of that at x equals zero is of course zero. So this is the answer, 64 pi over five. And I'm gonna follow this question. If um, you have a question or comment for me, or you think I've made a mistake, let me know here and I'll um, check my work or get back to you. Thanks a lot.